James Starling here for the DJAM YouTube channel after today's match day experience a 1-1 draw between Debenham and Sheringham. I'm here with Guy, Debenham manager, to have got so close to being a closer, you know, a defeat to get what is a, well, the virtually last kick of the game to get a draw. How are you feeling after that? Do you think that's a fair result? Uh, mixed feelings. Um, I was frustrated to concede late on in a way. Um, yeah. But, you know, the fact that we've grown um, and, you know, got a goal back, um, I think it was deserved. Yeah. Uh, I think both teams can accept um, a draw was probably a fair result. But I thought at the time we, we were going to nick something. I thought with the wind on our side, second half, I thought we, we would get something towards the end. The fact that we've gone down to, you know, concede a goal probably 85th minute is it's frustrating. But, you know, credit to the lads. They've, you know, they've dug deep and not nice to score from a set piece as well. Um, you, you mentioned the conditions are horrible out there today the wind up to 55 odd miles an hour at some points that it was it was horrific at half time you must have been pleased at the fact that you kept them out and it was nil nil yeah that was part of the game plan uh was uh you know with them attacking in the wind first half was actually managed the game although to be fair to sam chilvers in goal uh his goal kicks were fantastic even with that wind yeah. uh which allowed us to play a bit of football but that was the team talk before the game was manage it you know it hasn't got to be 100 mile an hour uh, especially when you're at home on a day like this is you know do we need to chase and get the ball everything else is you know we slowed it down enough um within you know within reason to make sure in at half time we were in, in the game yeah. and and you know during the half time break what was the kind of message for you guys right we've done what we had to do in the first half let's kick on and try and do yeah. more in the second yeah, half definitely really. um you know I've, it, that was that was it in a nutshell really was yeah. go take the game to him uh, second half now you know we, we were trying to get the balls ready fire them in a bit more and everything else um the fact that actually when you're at home um, you've got to use that to your advantage. We've got, we're trying to get the balls in, although maybe not all the times with the referee wanting them. But uh, yeah, you know that was it was then to try and push higher a li little bit more and you know take the game to them. Yeah, definitely. And as I said right at the beginning, you know to come be so close to a defeat, you know you you've got that last minute goal. Um, how how do you kind of reflect on the overall ninety minutes? Do you, as I said, do you. You, ha you, have, you must be delighted with yeah, the Yeah, I, th I, think, I think before the game, I would have taken the point, uh, showing them a good side. Um, but as the game went on, although they you know, they had their moments of, of like every team will over the course of 90 minutes, but I thought over the period of the game, we could, you know, we, we should have taken the control earlier. If we, I think if we had taken that lead like we should have, um, I think that, that would have then brought them onto us a little bit more, which would have suited us. Because um, it's Tuesday night, that's what happened. Scored a goal um, and it opens the game up and it suited us uh, to a tee. But, you know, relief is probably the, the right word um, after going... 1-0 down uh, late on, you know, with a minute to go to, to score and equalise is probably what, what makes us a bit more of a tight-knit group this year. So three games in now, obviously a win, a draw and a loss for you guys opening up the season. How do you reflect on the first three games? Are you satisfied with that or missed opportunities maybe somewhere along the line or what's your thoughts? Um, to be fair, when the fixtures came out, we thought in all of August is a really tough month for us. Um, we've got a lot of tough games uh, still to come, but the first three games, you know, Downham are a team that improve year on year. They're no mugs, uh, they've got a decent side there. Uh, Dis have recruited heavily uh, over the summer, almost got a new side. Um, and then obviously, yeah, yeah, uh, the credit to the boys. That, it was you know it was all them that you know that what they're pushing for this year and the standards they want from the group yeah. they're, they're pushing themselves more and today was a little bit more subdued after some probably some heavy legs on tuesday night's performance but you know like i say we, we're getting there and before the game i'd probably take a draw against Sheringham um and probably expect more three points against uh, downham and dis so you know we're not too far away four points from three games is is a, a steady start and overall let's talk about the actual club as a as a whole what kind of objectives have been set for you at the beginning of the season have they really said right this is where we want you to be finishing or have you kind of got free reigns yeah. at this point so yeah, to speak? you know we, we talked at the end of the season you know we've got a great committee here they put a hell of a lot of time in um but you know we sat down before the end of season last year and, and just said you know is what we're looking at uh, as a club and a lot of it is there's nothing uh, set in terms of league finish things like that but it's from uh, from us within the group as players and as management uh, we've said we want to improve on our I think joint 10th I think we came 11th uh, finish we want to improve on that but massively for us is go and win a cup uh, we've got the senior cup at Portman Road or the league cup um, for a club like Debenham we should be taking the cup seriously which maybe we didn't do enough last year um, not only that it keeps our season alive and you know the boys got something to look forward to come April May um, if we can go and get our hands on some silverware uh, that will then build us again for next year in the league as well.
because I heard, I heard before the game it was only, I think it's one trophy in 10 years. So has that kind of been what's been talked about as a club, really? Yeah, a little bit. Like I said, they've not set a target on it. Um, but, you know, from the discussions with Chris, the chairman and things like that, we've said that's what we want to try and achieve right. um, is, you know, go and have a good cup run. Uh, we've got the FA Vars as well uh, against Wiz Beach in a few weeks. So, again, it's looking at them and going, can we go and do well? And like I say, and hopefully go and win something. Well, I wish you all the best of luck for the rest of the season. Appreciate Cheers, thank it. Thank you. Thank you.